Women's March Madness is must-see sports. More than the men's, yes, but also more than last year's NBA Finals, the World Series, and nearly every college football game. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. The sports world is in the Caitlin Clark business, Iowa's standout star, and it's paying off. Iowa was a great team, um, but Caitlin Clark is the reason we tuned in. Here are five ways people are cashing in on Caitlin Clark. First, Caitlin Clark herself. College basketball's all-time leading scorer has scored about $3.2 million in NIL deals this year, according to On3. Her deals rank fourth behind sports royalty offspring Bronny James and Shador Sanders and social media sensation Livy Dunn. Clark's lucrative deals include Nike, Gatorade, and State Farm. Gamblers are setting records with Caitlin Clark. FanDuel says the Elite Eight LSU-Iowa game was the biggest betting event of all time for women's sports. The Angel Reese Clark rematch drew in 28% more money than their title game last year, where Reese came out victorious. This time, Caitlin Clark dropped 41 points, drained nine three pointers, and moves on to take on another college basketball star in the Final Four, UConn's Paige Buchers. The icon heavy women's tournament is setting records for fans in stands. The sellout crowds shattered records for the third consecutive season. Nearly 300,000 fans watched the first and second round games alone, a 26% increase over the previous year's peak. Fans in Iowa City topped all of their hosting sites, and the Caitlin effect doesn't stop in college. The WNBA's Indiana Fever is seeing a spike in ticket sales. They've got the number one overall pick this year, and Caitlin's headed to the league. It's getting pricey to see these female superstars on the court. Their popularity is pushing resale ticket prices through the roof. The average cost to get into the women's Final Four is $2,323, while the men's tournament is taking in less than half at $1,001, according to Logitix. Call it Clarkonomics. Iowa's Elite Eight victory over LSU shattered TV viewing records. With 12.3 million viewers tuning in, it wasn't just the most watched women's college basketball game in history, but one of the most viewed games in any sport other than the NFL this past year. The Angel Reese Caitlin Clark showdown topped the 11.8 million people who tuned in to watch USC great Cheryl Miller take on now LSU coach Kim Mulkey in the 1983 championship. ESPN has been getting a steal of a deal airing the women's tournament. They recently signed an eight year extension worth 65 million a year, 12 times the current rate. And that's not going to even take effect until next season. Meanwhile, CBS and Turner pay around a billion dollars a year to collectively air the men's side of things.